it's been a little more than a week and so far there haven't been any signs of predators trying to get in to our rabbits our rabbits have been digging a little bit between the two by two slats and I'll show you what that looks like It's a little more severe than I was really hoping for as far as how, how far down the rabbits can dig. Decided to do an experiment with one of our rabbit tractors. A rabbit tractor is basically a cage that's designed to slide along grass for the rabbits to graze. We found that this hardware cloth on the bottom tends to flatten down the grass so the rabbits can't quite get at as much of it as we'd like. Plus, and maybe more importantly, the hardware cloth just gets clogged up with rabbit poop and matted fur and grass and straw. It's, uh, it becomes a real ugly mess that has to be cleaned up. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and cut six more of these two by twos to place in on the bottom and see if we can't just get away without using the hardware cloth at all. The hardware cloth does two very important things. It keeps predators from being able to get in and get our rabbits, and it also keeps the rabbits from being able to dig their way out. So I don't know if this is going to work, but it's worth trying. First, I'll have to take this apart before I put it back together in its new configuration.
rabbits do like to chew on wood. And look at this. Look at the difference between the old braces and the new ones. It does look nice though, to seeing all this grass poke right up between the braces. Hopefully this idea will work. So this is the first experimental bunny. Try not to escape. And this littler rabbit will also be one of the first experimental bunnies. It's all right. He's already chowing down. He says, move, snacks. Definitely more of that Rex kind of rabbit. Downy kind of fur. Aren't ya? A little runt. Chubby runt. I'm gonna go play in the grass. Are you happy to be an experiment bunny? Yeah, so we knew it was going to be one of the issues without the hardware cloth on the bottom about it being harder to slide with rabbits in there without hurting any of the rabbits by, you know, their feet slipping down between the two by two braces. It just has to be moved very carefully when we do that. We've moved the rabbit tractor a couple of times and so far the rabbits have just sort of scrambled up on top of those two by two braces and rode along. But I'm still a little worried, especially with the smaller rabbits, because the smaller rabbits will fit between the slats and they could just be left on the ground when I lift it up and slide it down and then squashed when I put it back down. So I'm gonna use this as a platform for them to ride. It's just a scrap from when I was building some of the other projects around here. The same material as what I have on top of the rabbit tractor. So this will be able to just sit right on top, lay nice and flat, and uh, just be a good place to keep it or it's not gonna shift around or um, get misplaced. We'll just have to see how it goes, if this is more trouble than it's worth. We've let this experiment go on for a little more than a week. 
And the good news is no predators seem to be trying to get into the rabbit tractors, but the slats are wide enough apart that the rabbits can dig quite a bit down uh, inside the bottom of the rabbit tractors. They always seem to like digging in that one little corner. To give you a better look, I'll go ahead and move this rabbit tractor. As you can see, it's pretty deep and the potential is definitely there for the rabbits to dig themselves all the way out and escape. So we're gonna try something a little different. For our other rabbit tractor here, I'm gonna go ahead and screw on a whole bunch of vertical slats to make a grid that they shouldn't be able to get down into very easily. Hopefully that will work. I'll go ahead and put these on. We'll move the bunnies over to this one. And in a few days, we'll see how that works. It's been a few days and we're happy with the results. The rabbits have not been able to dig between those new slats in these rabbit tractors. I'll give you a quick look. This is working, but Wendy and I would both like to see a little more grass coming up for the rabbits to snack on. So I'm gonna put the vertical slats on our second rabbit tractor. But instead of using four sticks to cut eight pieces, I'm gonna use three sticks to cut six. Again, once these slats are on, I'll just move the bunnies back over here, give it another few days, and we'll see if that works. This is definitely a process of trial and error. That configuration worked just fine as well. As a rule of thumb, I'd say any spacing that prevents the rabbits from being able to get their whole body down onto the grass is gonna help prevent their natural instinct to burrow from kicking in. So trial and error sometimes works. <laughs> 